And a good evening to all you people out there in the land known as YouTube. It is me, Ghost Critic. I'm back again for another comic book review show with a little bit of a difference. I'm going to try and get through these really quickly. And I thought it'd be fun to do some kind of wacky awards for the titles this week. Um, I have a lot of, well, I've got eight, I think, eight titles to get through. So very quickly let's get on with this and the first award is called the title that I should be dropping anytime soon now award goes to Legion's Lost number three <sighs> I've really no idea why I'm still picking this up hasn't really got a lot better it's full of the most obvious cliches still don't care about any of the characters like I said, why am I still picking this up? And the title, no sorry, the award entitled, just kill him already. It's Batman and Robin issue three. Really, really don't like this back to Damien being an absolute ass. He really is. Um, he has none of that charisma, those funny little quips back anymore. He's just an angry little kid who thinks he's right in everything he does. He hates everything and everyone. He doesn't like being told what to do at all and he's always right. And it's just such a backward move for this character. I was just beginning to warm to him. The storyline, kind of interesting. Um, how it finishes with them waking up after being unconscious. I'm interested to see what is going to happen after this. Um, but really, sort out Damien's character. It's not fun to read and it really just doesn't work. And the award for the title that could have been written by Mark Miller but wasn't. The Strange Talent of Luther Strode. It's issue one from Image, one of six. Um, it's actually really good. I actually like this a lot. Um, I don't know, this is a second printing apparently, so I don't know how long this has been out, whether it's been out uh, last month, I didn't see it, um, but really enjoying it. Like I said, it's got a very Mark Millerish, bloody, violent, like visceral feel to it. Um, the artwork, for me, it's kind of it reminds me of Chew in a way. I don't know why, but um, still, it's an interesting um, start to this six-issue storyline. Um, very intrigued to see where it's going to go. I would suggest picking this up if you want something new and you don't want to be involved in a big, huge run. Only six issues. And the award for the most obvious cliffhanger, it's Buffy. Issue 3 of Season 9. If you're a fan of Buffy the TV um, series, then you will love this. Um, the guy who wrote this, Andrew Chambliss, he's seriously got a, a hang on what these characters sound like, what they've been through, whether it's just in the comic books or in the TV. They've got He's got the characters down pat. Um, it's still fun and exciting, but yes, you can see the end cliffhanger a mile away. It, like... It wouldn't have been any easier if they'd have put, like, a neon sign above the character's head saying, It's them! I'm trying not to spoil it, <laughs> if you're that stupid. But there you go, Buffy, great. And now, the title of this award is called Now That's a Cliffhanger. Green Lantern issue 3, seriously not going to spoil this for you guys, but damn, what is going on? Forget the fact that Jeff Johns has totally disregarded that there has been a reboot, <clears throat> that he's just kept on going with his story, forgotten about the timeline that this currently inhabits in the whole of the other titles universes I don't care anymore I'm glad this is stuck and not been retconned revamped rebooted whatever the end of this title you I just 
did not did not see it coming and you just think what the hell is going to happen now really excited about this title major pickup please go get it and the award for the title that has not wasted a single panel and I envy anyone who will pick this up in trade and I can't wait for the concluding part Uncanny X-Force and it's issue 17 oh my lord chapter 7 Dark Angel Saga Rick Remender has written a saga. It's not just some poncy little four issue series that was wrapped up and too quickly didn't mean anything. This will have serious consequences. Um, let alone the most gorgeous looking art from Apina. Um, there are just some lovely, lovely touches in here. The flashbacks between Betsy and um, Warren Worthington from their days in the Hellfire Club. Um, the early days of um, Warren and Professor Xavier um, chatting to each other. It's... It's just been fantastic. Remender really thought this storyline out and he made it very, very special. And finally, I told you this would be short. The award for being just damn gorgeous. Batwoman issue three. And it is, of course, my pick of the week. Um, the Paneling alone on this book is worth the cover price. Um, it's just so inventive, so clever, and it just every page and you turn over the page, you think it's going to stop now. They're going to just do something normal, a, a normal panel page. No, another page. You look at it. No still exciting, vibrant, and you know what? The characters you really feel for, there's a rawness, a realness about them. In this, you know, we know this is a, a fantasy made up world where people, you know, fly about in the night on ropes um, with capes and masks, but you know, this title feels real. The characters, the way they express themselves, the way they, emote is just flawless um i was i'm so happy i i decided to pick this up and wasn't one of the back titles in the glut that there is that i decided not to bother with because i'd be missing out on so much the relationship between kate and the detective it feels real um, it feels honest and truthful what can you say it's it's just it's just great and that's it for the week i guess um seriously looking forward to the next part of this um i don't know what else to say it's the end that was quick um as always there's a subscribe button up there if this is the first time you're watching this video and you like it because i'll be doing plenty more down there, there's a comment box. Tell me what you've been reading, what you thought the books I picked up. Um, there's a thumbs up button as well. I love it when you touch that. You touch it, you click it, you go click, click, and thumbs up. I love it all. I don't know what I'm talking about now. It's been a long day at work and I'm tired and I'm restless now. And I need to say goodbye. See ya.